Hi thinkers, welcome to the data structures in Python course on thinkxacademy.com. Now let's see what is the use of this reference parameter and how can we insert more elements inside of this binary tree. To insert some more elements, I'm going to make more calls to the same function, but using a different data. So here I will write 5, 7, 13, or 12 maybe and let's make one more call using 15. Now we are going to make sure that the insertion uh, operation which we are going to perform makes this binary tree as a binary search tree right so we are actually creating a binary tree but there is a slight variation of binary tree which is known as binary search tree and it actually optimizes the search operation of uh, inside of a binary tree. So let's see how these elements are going to get inserted inside of a binary search tree. So we wish to insert some more elements. So here you can see I've made a call 4, 7, 12 and 15. 4, 7, 12 and 15. Now initially we have a root node which is 5 root is pointing to this node which we have done in step number two this is going to be the step number three now let's see how to insert four inside of this root now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to assign two conditions to perform the insertion operation to make this binary tree as a binary search tree or a bst what are these conditions the condition says that if the value of the node that you wish to insert inside of a binary tree has a value which is less than the value of root node right so you can see here if we want to insert 4 we will first compare it with the root node now you can see the value is lesser than 5 so what we are going to do is we are going to insert it uh, insert it at the right part of the tree right so 4 will get inserted in the right part of the tree now let's consider the next element which is 7 so the second condition is that if the value of the node is greater than the value of the root we are going to insert it in the right part of the tree these two conditions are very helpful because they actually make this binary tree as a binary search tree. So every time we want to perform a search operation, we can actually leave one branch and we, we, it will save a lot of time complexity. So here 7 is going to get inserted inside of a binary tree. Now let's see what is the next element 12 and 15. Before moving to insertion of these two elements, which is a very different uh, strategy is going we are going to use let's see where this 12 will insert it now 12 is first compared with this element root node 12 has a value greater than 5 so it will have to be inserted inside of the left part of the tree but now it is observed that the left part of the tree which we can access using root dot left root dot left now this is going to be the left pointer so this left part of the tree already has an element stored in it now what we want to do is we want to insert 12 but we cannot insert 12 here because 7 is already there so what we are going to do is we are going to make sure that we create a temporary variable which initially is actually a root value or a root reference so temporary variable is actually a reference to the root node and what we will do is we will reassign it to this part which is here and now this temp node is pointing here now what we can do is we can use the same strategy which we have used in case of root we will compare the value at this temporary node with the value that we want to insert and now we know that 12 is greater than 7 so it is going to get inserted at the right part of the tree we will keep changing this temporary uh, reference here in our 
programming case, we have actually not used uh, temp as the variable name. We have used reference as the name. So what we are going to do is we are going to make sure that this reference is assigned to left or the right part according to what insertion perform, uh, we are going to perform. If we want to insert the element at the right part, we are going to make sure that reference is actually pointing to the right part of the tree. Things will become more clear when we will implement this. So let's start the implementation part. Now you can see I have in all the cases I have passed a second parameter which is the root parameter. So initially we are at the root position. We observed that root is not null. So now we will write another else case here if the root is not null. What we are going to perform? Now since uh, the binary tree has a root node, the first important task is to actually create a new node. We can do that by just calling an object with some value and we know that the value is the data. So in this way we have allocated the data but still this data needs to be inserted at the right position which is according to the conditions which we have which we are going to apply in the case of binary search tree. So let's see what is the condition. The first condition is if the data that you wish to insert is less than the node.data. So what is node.data? Sorry, it will be ref.data. So you can see that I am passing the root reference to this variable ref. This ref temporarily holds the uh, it holds a reference to the root node. So what this is going to do is it is going to check whether this the data at this reference reference is initially pointing to root. So root dot data is actually five in our case. So if the data which is four here, if we want to insert it inside of the tree, we are going to compare it with the root dot data initially. If it is less than this, we will have to write a very important condition. Now here, if the data is less than the root dot data, we have already written the condition here that if the value is less than, we are going to insert it in the right part, right? So if you want to insert in the right part of the tree, we will first have to check whether the right reference of the root node is empty or not. For that, I'm going to write a very important condition here inside of this if statement. Make sure you are actually using the right indentation between the if cases. So this if case is when the data is less than the ref.data. If the value of reference dot write is not none, right? It means we are actually checking because we want to insert the data on the right side of the tree. We will have to check whether it is pointing to null or not. If it is pointing to null, what we can do is we can perform the insertion operation. And how we can do that is by making a call to the self.insert function. And in the insert function, what we are going to do is we are just going to pass the data and we are going to pass the reference dot right. Now let's see what is the meaning of this line and why it is necessary. Here you can see ref dot right is not none. It means that there is some element which is already there inside of the right part of the tree. So let's consider here. So initially we have this five node at the root position. I will pass this root reference to the insert function. So we have another reference ref which is initially pointing here. And now what we are checking is we are checking that ref dot right part if it is null or not. Now let's say there is actually some element with let's say there is some element x here. If it is there what we are going to do is we are going to reassign this reference to the reference dot right which is here. So this is reference dot right. So how do we reassign this? We are reassigning this by passing the argument ref dot right. So here you can see that in the insert function we have the data and then we have 
ref dot right which is actually the right part of the tree so when we will pass this ref dot right this is actually a recursive call this is actually a recursive call to the insert function and this recursive call when we will make this call this ref dot right which is the right which is pointing to the right part of the tree it is now going to get passed to this ref which will make the uh, reference ref point to the right node instead of pointing to the root node again we are going to check whether that root node is null or not since we already have the right part uh, as not null we will again reach here we will allocate the node and we will again check whether the data is less than or not now here Let's say the data is less than uh, x, so we are going to insert it on the right part of the tree. So here, let's say we want to insert y, so we can insert y here. And we know that when we want to insert y, we will first have to check whether the left part is null or not. We are only going to perform insertion when we have a null position. So let's write the another case here, which is the else case of this part which means that if the right reference is null then we are going to perform the insertion operation now the way to do is we are just going to make sure that ref dot right is actually pointing to the root node sorry to the new node that we have created this new node is the node that we wish to insert so what here we are trying to do is here we are trying to reach to reassign to keep reassigning this reference to the right part of the tree by making recursive calls to this insertion function which will keep reassigning the reference until and unless the reference is actually a null reference if it is null then we are going to make sure that the reference is pointing to the node that we wish to insert so that's the whole crux of insertion. Now, since we have done this, the second part is very easy. We are going to just copy this whole if case like this. And now we are going to just simply paste it here. Now in this if case, which is here, we are just going to change it to greater than ref.data and instead of right, we are going to uh, write here left. And here, since we want the reference uh, to the recursive call should go to the left part because the data is greater than the uh, root node or the ref dot data, we will keep uh, this recursive call again and again. It is going to call because the value of the ref dot left is not null. At the point when we will reach at the leaf node where it is going to be null, we are just going to make sure that we assign it to the left part of the tree. So that's how we perform insertion inside of a tree. A very important concept and in the next tutorial we will see how to implement the uh, traversal which is basically to understand why, uh, to understand how to display the data inside of the binary tree. There are different types of traversal that we can perform in a binary tree which we will discuss in the next tutorial. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.